Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general love and general and love weekend reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, let's get into this. Also, if you want to book a personal reading with me or Brandy, there is a link in the description box below. First card out of the deck. So we're taking a look at the weekend. So this will be from the time you're listening to this reading until July 25th. I'm sorry, June 25th. My goodness, I already have us in July. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it looks like you're going to have a playful weekend. Let's take a look. You also have loving yourself first. Awesome, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And what else is coming up for Virgo over this weekend? And a couple oh, a few cards pull out. Let go of control issues. Go out and have fun. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You have a new love interest showing up over this weekend for you. This is awesome, Virgo. Good for you. New love is always good, right? Um, all right, let's start off. Okay, look at this. You've got the fool. So, Virgo, looks like you're going to be... I don't know, going on some kind of new adventure this weekend or doing something fun, taking a risk, freeing yourself, letting go of things, allowing things to just unfold naturally, being playful. That the fool is always to me like um this is always like a like um I don't know, it's, it's childlike, okay? That's what I mean. Um, this is just like effort. This is like, just let me go have a good time. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm just going to have fun. If you have something planned for the weekend, um, or even if you don't plan something, just go do something. You don't have to be wild and crazy. Just, you know, set yourself free this weekend. That's what I feel like the message is. And there's the chariot. Maybe you can take a road trip or go somewhere in your car. Um, let's see going out and this feels like a very strong travel energy so you know i know some of you might not have anything you're not traveling anywhere this weekend maybe you're just going to travel down to the lake and chill out at the lake with some friends or just by yourself or just go do something this is kind of like getting out of your comfort zone and doing something different that you don't normally do and if you are someone who doesn't live in the comfort zone this might be oh i almost want to say not doing that and maybe just doing something completely different okay so you do have a queen of cups showing up here cancer scorpio pisces so this is the new love showing up a new person stirs your romantic feelings okay so maybe you're doing something with this person over the weekend this is a new love so you may have someone um, connecting with you over this weekend coming in to visit you two for some of you or traveling to go spend some time doing something playful and fun with them okay <clears throat> let's see what else is going on wow you've got the world all this travel there is big travel vibes here or connecting with someone over the world wide web the internet um lesson learned or um it's just travel 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 Listen, this might be for some of you specific. If you're going somewhere or you're traveling somewhere this weekend, um, it, you might connect with a new love over the weekend. This is exciting for you, okay? Or it's just new feelings. <laughs> I hear my grandson. He's like being so loud. Uh, new feelings of love. Your feelings being stirred up romantically. Okay, the sun. So we do have, I will call out, Cancer, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Yeah, okay. Those are the energies there, okay? But as a person showing up, there is the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So there is this feeling, these deep feelings, these romantic feelings being stirred up over the weekend. Okay, you also have the Ten of Swords. So let's see surrendering to something here what are you surrendering to over the weekend virgo what are you surrendering to okay hmm. <laughs> you're surrendering to making some kind of a decision or weighing your options you're just like f it i'm just gonna do whatever i need to do i'm just gonna go have fun I'm not gonna worry about anything just go and have a good time Okay, definitely. You've got the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. So some of you might be 
doing something with a friend also this weekend. It could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. And um, this is kind of like a secret getaway also. And just kind of like... I feel like you, this person, I feel like you intuitively know that this person um, wants to do something with you over the weekend. It's kind of crazy because I feel like there's a part of you that doesn't want to, but then at the same time, you're just like, you know what? Forget it. I feel like you should take some kind of trip or do something that you don't normally do because there is going to be um, a, a possibility, a potential new lover uh, once you make a decision to do this by and also it could be a, a fire sign coming in as well so let me see what else okay all right you've got the Hierophant and the eight of swords so you've been stuck in some kind of situation like maybe routine doing the same thing over and over your everyday routine and it's kind of like weighing on you mentally i feel like you need some kind of mental break i feel like um you need to just cross this threshold and just let it all out. Like, just get loose. Just relax. If you're going to a party or some kind of event or you're doing something even very simple, um, a friend might be inviting you. I'm just picking up this new love energy. Let's take a look and see who this person is that you will be connecting with. Gosh, my, my cards are going flying everywhere. Okay, interesting, Virgo. So, um... You got the nine of wands in the reverse. So there's someone coming out of isolation um, and coming out of being defensive. Um, this this new person coming out of isolation. Well, I don't even know what that means, but I feel like this person has just been on their own for a really long time, blocking love, not wanting to connect. I feel like this person just kind of ta-da appears over this weekend. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's going to be a connection. You are absolutely going to have a um, a love connection being made over this weekend, for sure. I don't know exactly what day, but there's definitely... Look, I can't, Virgo, even with this. So, you like the Knight of Cups, there's some kind of love offer coming in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is all because of you letting go. Loving yourself, being playful, having fun, maybe doing something with another person over the weekend... Um, or just a friend or a family member or a, a colleague, a work colleague, whatever the situation is, there's definitely love coming in. Oh my goodness. Brand new opportunity. Yes, there's a potential for something new to start here. Um, and I feel like you and this person, this is like a soulmate connection. You will feel with this person um, once you meet them, like you're definitely going to, both of you are going to feel these new love feelings. Okay. The stirring of romantic feelings or this like attraction kind of energy but also it, it feels like wow you know like I've met my person wanting to hold on to each other like once you have that spark happens see how they're holding hands this is beautiful it's like wait 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 this is the one like there's definitely a feeling of are you gonna meet the one I feel like you're gonna meet like the one I don't usually believe in the one but no this this is definitely an energy coming up for you now if you if you want to have it you, you know it's there for the taking if you want that but there's definitely a very strong uh, soulmate connection being made here okay so much travel energy plans being made trips being made um, you may not go anywhere this weekend you may connect with someone online and make plans to go somewhere at a later date okay as well you could be talking to somebody online or you know through social media or just Ooh, uh, maybe in the chat I don't know <laughs> but let me see here there's I'm definitely picking up strong travel vibes go for it Virgo go and do it okay yeah look ace of wands definitely new beginning definitely a feeling of like mm, physical activity physical like mm, boing that kind of thing you know what I mean I don't want to say it because I don't want to get in trouble here but there's definitely like a a very physical strong attraction potential new start here with someone i love this okay for some of you this is somebody you already know for some this is a past thing where um love gets kind of like re-stirred up again um this doesn't have to be someone you dated in the past it could be but it could also be someone that you knew from when you were kids there or when you were younger or in your youth that energy if you met this person when you were in your youth um 
uh, you know, Virgo, I'm kind of getting a vibe. I mean, there is definitely uh, the past coming back. You know, and like I said, we're going into the Venus retrograde, so that can be happening as well for some. Um, but there's love being stirred up again. These feelings, there's travel, connecting with someone or going somewhere with someone. Okay, so if it's a past person, this person has kind of had their eye on you for a long time. They haven't fully released you. If, if you know, it doesn't mean you were together before, but I just feel like this person kind of has a thing for you, or they have always had a little bit of a thing for you, and you guys kind of reconnect over the weekend. For others, this is just someone who I feel like, um, Um, there's a youthfulness to the relationship and and this person is a little bit you know like they're definitely coming out of isolation whatever they were in in their own personal life um but i do feel like let me just see yeah i do feel like um i'm hearing this person has had a hard time letting go um and being able to open up in their own life this could be you as well but i also feel like uh, if this, I just keep getting this vibe of somebody you knew before, and they have been holding on. Um, this is like an 11 11 kind of situation. This is this kind of feels to me like this person either wants will invite you in the future, um, but there's to go like to some kind of there's a reunion, there's so much of a reunion happening here, a reconciliation. I do feel like this person, um has been wanting for if you knew them before has or has always wanted to be in a partnership with you um or a long term or like a committed committed relationship i wonder like so for all right i will tell you for some of you this is a fire sign for others it's a water sign okay it's one or the other so if that resonates for you boom there's your message but i do feel like there is some kind of communication of some sort that's going to start up with this person yep they're going to reach out there's going to be some kind of texts or things like that. And um, I feel like this person, I do feel like they have this idea um, or they've had these ideas about having some type of, um, I don't know, I'm feeling like these fantasy vibes, these dream vibes. They might tell you that they had a dream about you or that they've been dreaming about you. You knew them before. Okay, let me see. Or it, it might even be like, I've always dreamt of someone like you. If you, if, you know, when you connect with this person, if you don't know who they are, that it, I'm just picking up these vibes. Like I've been dreaming about my soulmate or I've been dreaming about having someone like you come in. I've been wait, I've been waiting for a girl like you. Yeah, there's another song for you. That's an oldie, but, or girl or a guy. So, I mean, Virgo, it looks like you've got, wow, okay. Okay, this person is secret. Okay, if you went to school with this person, they've had like, or if college or sometimes some something like this person's had like this very secret thing for you for quite some time, quite some time. Oh, yeah, they think that you are okay, even if you didn't go to school with them, they just they've always thought, um, and that you were just like ugh, amazing beautiful handsome um just like a, a complete catch is what i feel and it's kind of been they've been hiding it um and even i feel like this person might have written something about you maybe a song or some kind of story they've written about you um that they've kind of kept a secret it might get revealed to you or it has been revealed to you in the past um they've manifested you in some way even if you don't know them they've written about you in the sense of like the idealized version of you that's such a strange message virgo okay you are coming across to this person as being someone that they are just like oh, tongue out dragging across the floor drooling <laughs> crazy okay so yeah they're telling me this is Okay, I've got justice, so this is right. This is the this is right. They're saying the truth comes out. This person is gonna tell you that they've written something about you. Or they've created something, um or that they've they've been writing. Oh, they've been writing to you. That's what I'm also hearing. They've been sending they've been writing creating or crafting these messages or emails and stuff and they haven't sent them. They've been kind of holding them back. Um, that truth is going to come out about this. This person will tell you, you know, I, I'm picking up like, um, you remember when Noah was writing Allie all those love letters and she was never getting them? Um, it's, 
Like, I don't know if this person's going to show you all the stuff that they've written about you going forward or tell you about it. Um, uh, or the stories that they've written. Something so... It's, it's very romantic, actually. I know some people are like, oh, that's so creepy. No, I think that's very romantic. Okay, let me see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. This is going to be a little bit short because, as you can tell, my grandson is home. And, well, at least he's here. New passionate start. And I want to go see him new passionate start virgo i'm telling you this weekend looks good there's like some kind of an invite like i said you go somewhere or you talk to someone and there's an invite they want to see you they've been they've had you on their mind for a really long time um making plans to connect with you if you don't meet them over this weekend um this person just has a thing for you virgo okay material wish being granted as well very nice Something that you've been wanting materially. You also have mature, dynamic, fiery males. So for those of you interested in male, males, there is a fire sign here who is um, very passionate about you. And, okay, you've got boom. This is like the tower. This is going to be shocking, Virgo. When you find out that this person has been writing something about you, or writing a song or crafting letters to you that haven't sent when you find out this is going to be I feel like such a shock to you it's going to come as a shock because this person is going to reveal this to you and what is their the hidden truth revealed to you here they might even send one of the one of the send you one of the messages or the letters admitting their feelings or how they've been feeling about you which will be sometimes i stay awake thinking about you i wish i could take back my words for those of you yeah um <laughs> there's a little bit of like oh my gosh i got they, they might even accidentally send you a message that they didn't really weren't ready for you to see and they wish they could take it back and that is what it that's what it is it's like Somehow it gets to you or it's revealed to you that they can't, they always think about you. Like even they stay awake at night. They, they don't go to sleep. They just want to stay awake and dream about you. And they tell you this. And I don't know, there's this little bit like, oh my gosh, I wish I could take that back now, but it's too late. It's already out there. And I really wanted Virgo to know that. But at the same time, I feel, I don't know, embarrassed that I admitted that. So there's some kind of an admittance here that's coming out from this person that will be shocking. This person is crazy attracted to you, and they have been. And also, they hope you can forgive them one day, for, maybe for not approaching you before. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm picking up, that energy. Um, I feel you even though we are apart. So this person's had a longing for you for quite some time, okay? Or just a longing for connecting with you. They might just be a friend of yours as well. Then they've had the secret crush or secret feeling for you but didn't want to approach you or they couldn't approach you it's, uh, virgo it all comes out there's something coming out over this weekend um they remember every detail of a particular day so you might yeah you've known them you came closer than anyone something you did virgo um something you did with this person in the past um for those of you that have this past connection um that they've never forgotten is what i'm hearing um and they've got good news they want to share with you. That's a lot of the reason why this person is approaching you. They want to tell you something. Um, they've got some good news that they want to share with you. Also, wish you treated you better. It feels very strongly. Wish you, I wonder if you were happy without me. This person, I really feel like they have like a lot of, um, I don't know, some remorse of some sort. And I feel like it's for self. You might not even know about this. Okay. Um, so for those of you who are meeting an actual new love, the overall message here is that um, this person is just like when they see you, when you guys connect, you're going to feel those vibes. Like they've, this person has been kind of like they have had a conjured image up in their mind, um, setting their intentions for a person like you to come into their life. And I feel strongly that you're going to connect with them. The energy starts flowing over this weekend. If you actually connect with them over the weekend, That'll be awesome because then what I'm saying here is fitting you. But it may just start with a very slight connection of communication, something along those lines here. Okay, let me see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. 
what other messages does Virgo need to know for this weekend? I just, I just keep feeling these shock vibes, you know, like, like I get these little brain zaps, these little zaps of shock about this energy um, playing out here for you. Okay, you've got home. Okay, so there's some connection to your home or where you live in regards to this person. And obstacles, yeah, something to do with where you live um, and your home base um, that has kept things delayed or that has kept things um, like been a blockage to you guys connecting. Okay, so you do have gifts and that is definitely a surprise energy. What I'm saying here is this is going to be such a beautiful surprise, such a beautiful gift. I feel like that will be coming to you um, completely unexpected. From this person okay there's the children here you you there's something very innocent or childlike about this connection remember i said with the fool card that there was this childlike energy here um especially on your end where i feel like over the weekend you're just like i said letting go and just kind of like being playful the childlike energy innocence fun and a connection to your youth with this person or having or this person is very childlike or youthful in some ways the two of you together i i'm picking up like a lot of fun and playfulness and enjoying each other Okay, yeah, there you go. Fun times. So, I mean, Virgo, this is just what you need, honestly. I feel like this is what you need. This is just Virgo, like, releasing all of the routine and all of the stuff Virgo does every day and just taking this weekend, just being like, whatever. I'm letting things go, letting go of control issues. I'm trusting in the situation. You know, whatever's meant for me will be for me. I'm going to love myself. And then, boom, this energy comes to you. Virgo. This energy just absolutely, it just comes your way. Let me see what your messages of love are here. I mean, I, I love flows in when we're open. That's, that's just the way it works. Love, love comes to us when we're open, when we're happy with ourselves, we're enjoying life. Okay. For some of you, this is just a strictly sexual or sensual connection over the weekend for some of you who, it doesn't mean you have to do it. So don't, you know, get your knickers in a britch here. Um, Okay, uh, for some of you, this person is definitely going to want to have like a, a physical thing. And your message here is to wait, like, you know, draw it out a little bit. And you can't blame somebody want, wanting to have that with you, Virgo, because Virgos are so alluring and magnetizing and attractive. So it's just part of being a Virgo. Um, so there will be a decision, of course, if you want to. Or if you don't want to, I know some of you won't go down that uh, path and that's great. And some of you will, and that's great too. It's all up to you. The relationship though can stand the test of time, right? Stability. So the decision is, can it stand the test of time? If you guys just get, you know, in your sexy vibes together, maybe it, it's possible because I, I honestly, I feel like Virgo, um, it's, it's not a transactional thing. I feel like this person, when they meet you, it's like they already know and whatever if i have to wait i'll wait if if i'm not going to wait then it's still going to go it's still going to go forward I, I'm, we're still going to be together so it feels like no matter what you do it's a win for you <laughs> with this connection um whether you deny this person or whether you decide to go forward with them this person is hooked on you hooked on the virgo phonics that's it right there hooked on you okay um time apart some distance will help bring clarity and i feel like um, you might just, hmm. Virgo, some of you might just be like, you know what? I'm not ready to do that just yet. And, um, cause for whatever reason, um, and I feel like this person will probably say, I'm really sorry. That's fine. If, if you need a little time to connect or just whatever, that's fine. I'll wait. Okay. Um, and vice versa, the roles can be reversed as well. Okay. You connecting with this person, if you feel like, oh, you know, you really want to be with them and your, your loins are screaming, um, they might just be like, oh no, you know, let's just, you know, and nothing, let's not go down that road. And you might just be like, okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I just really want to be with you. And, um, 
you know, you might apologize and say, okay, if you need time, that's fine. I don't feel like you're going to just be like, all right, forget you. Never mind. I don't want to see you. That kind of, yeah, because it's a true love connection, Virgo. Happening over this weekend. I can't even believe this. This is amazing. This person might have children. You might have children. Um, or it's just a childlike energy. It's playful. It's fun. It's it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's like a Hallmark movie. Hallmark show. I don't even explain it. It's just like a love story, a true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional, right? So I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgo. That was quick and short, but looking forward to a good weekend for you. Hopefully this happens for you. I know it's not going to be for everybody, so don't try to force it. But either way, do your best to just relax, have a great weekend. Um, you know, I don't know, go to the beach, go to the pool, do a little traveling, do a little shopping, get into your meditative state this weekend, spend time with friends, or just go solo. And you never know who you might meet when you're out there doing your thing. All right, Virgo. So again, personal reading link is in the description box below to get a reading with me. And as always, I will see you back here on Sunday. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs>